Hi, Blockchain Africa Conference. This is CZ from Binance. I wish I could be here with you today, but I'm so happy our team at Binance is able to participate as a premier sponsor of this conference. Thank you to the organizers, Bitcoin events, for giving us the opportunity to say hello to the blockchain community and our community across the African continent. Africa illustrates one of the largest demand and instrumental use cases for cryptocurrency, notably for financial access. According to the World Bank, approximately 66% of sub-Saharan Africans are listed as unbanked. So instead of trying to bank the unbanked, let's Bitcoin the unbitcoin. Our mission is to increase the freedom of money globally. We believe by spreading this freedom, we can significantly improve lives around the world. Africa demonstrates strong potential in leading cryptocurrency adoption and blockchain technologies. We hope our services such as Fiat2 Crypto Gateways are a viable solution to more financial inclusion. On the Fiat side, Africa is an important milestone for, Bin for Binance. Since our launch in 2017, Binance has cultivated a long and fruitful relationship with Africa. We stepped into Uganda in June 2018 with our first fiat to crypto platform in partnership with our local partners there and officially started the journey to, ser to serve Africa. As of today, Binance has launched fiat to crypto gateways supporting 35 local currencies, including the Nigerian Naira and Uganda Shilling. Looking at South Africa specifically though, crypto adoption continues to rise with South Africa being the, one of the top five countries with the highest cryptocurrency ownership. Today, I'm excited to share with you that Binance will be launching a South Africa fiat gateway very soon. This will enable South African users to buy cryptocurrencies with their local bank accounts. Outside of our trading services and financial platforms, Binance ecosystem is very active in Africa, including Binance Charity, our nonprofit arm. With Binance Charity, the world's first blockchain powered donation platform dedicated to advancing transparent philanthropy, we have donated nearly 1 million US dollars and already supported more than 100,000 end beneficiaries with solar panels, stationary supplies, sanitary paths to girls in rural communities, and free lunch for children projects. As we further develop our Binance offerings in South Africa, Binance Charity is also keen to work together with local NGOs, empowering the use on job creation with blockchain-enabled platforms. More details will be shared in our day two session. Binance is excited to be in South Africa with you all. Thank you for listening. And now I'll leave you with Tanya Nose, our South Africa representative, to tell you more about Binance South Africa. Thank you. Well, thank you, everyone. Um, I must confess, Sonia asked me to MC this conference about two months ago, and I didn't think I'd be standing here representing Binance when she made the request, and, uh, and I'm very happy to be doing that. So thank you very much. All right, so I'm just going to provide some details following Susie's video about what Binance's plans are for South Africa, um, and to explain a bit more about what Binance is about. I think one of the first things, as touched on by CZ, is that we've got the freedom of information, we've got the relative freedom of movement, and our vision really at Binance is to increase the freedom of money and that movement of money so that we can significantly improve the lives of people around the world. And that leads into what we're trying to build as an organization, and really our mission as an organization is to try and build the core infrastructure for the, the crypto um, industry around the world. I think many people perceive Binance as an exchange, and, and uh, yes, that is the spearhead, that's the term that some of us use, that drives the business, but it's so much more than that. And what I'm gonna share today is actually our vision of the Binance ecosystem, and what we wanna bring together to South Africa from an ecosystem perspective. You'll see from this diagram up here that it is a very, very many components to what Binance offers. There's obviously the core side that we bring from a trading perspective, margin, staking, etc. And then there's a number of divisions within Binance that are doing so much more than just pure cryptocurrency exchange. We've got everything from our academy to our charity that CZ mentioned, um, our, the decentralized exchange that we're uh, building at the moment, um, and I'm going to provide a few more details around what this has to offer. 
So first of all, as a leading cryptocurrency exchange, you will see that we um, are the largest in the world by trading volume at the moment, and we operate in 180 countries around the world. We, um, we have users from 180 countries around the world. We're capable of processing 1.4 million transactions per second, um, and we're one of the fastest growing cryptocurrency exchanges that there is. Our platform is really focused on robust security, uh, the execution speed and uh, sorry and robustness and I think one of the challenges particularly about uh, opening up a fiat gateway is the compliance focus that we need to now uh, look at in South Africa and this is going to be a big drive for us going forward uh, is to comply with the compliance focus that we have here particularly around KYC exchange controls and things like that and working with the regulators and the rest of the industry in this space. Uh, the organization grew incredibly quickly within five months uh, from the date of launch. Binance was the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world. Uh, we currently process 50% of all market volumes for all the majority of listings that are out there, and we're doing $2 billion worth of transactions um, on average every single day. As I've indicated, we've got users from 180 countries around the world. Many of them are potentially sitting in this room. There's a lot of South Africans who use Binance at the moment uh, by do, going through a crypto, to crypto gateway. Um, and as I say, the fiat gateway will, will obviously um, in, in better things for those people using us. Um, we have staff members from 40 countries around the world, and we, our user face is uh, available in 15 different languages. Uh, I think subject, well, there's a perception that Binance lists a lot of coins, and we do, but you will be pleased to know that less than 3% of the applications that we actually get end up actually being listed on the exchange uh, eventually. There's a very robust process that the listings team follows to look at any coins that we do and don't list. Um, they are inundated almost on a daily basis with new coins and new projects, and there are stringent criteria that are followed to list any coins on the exchange, which that team uh, assess against a set, a set of uh, guidelines which are constantly evolving all the time. Uh, from a customer support perspective, uh, we have 80% of all open tickets sold within 24 hours and with a 95% satisfaction rate. So this is one of our big drivers is that we put the customer um, at the forefront of what we want to do. We run a lot of surveys to see what customers want and that is something that we're wanting to bring to South Africa too, to be open to see what the community wants here from that perspective. Uh, just our, in terms of our social media reach, we've got 1.4 million users on, on, uh, uh, that follow us on social media. There's 250,000 people that are active on the Binance Telegram groups, and those groups are operating in 30 languages right now. So it really is a truly global and international company and community that we're working with, um, and we now, as I say, launching into SA officially. Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, I've touched on the, the exchange side. I'm going to now touch on some of the other elements that I showed you in that diagram about some of the other divisions that Binance has. The first one is Binance uh, Charity. My colleague Dam Dami will cover this in detail tomorrow. But I'm very, very pleased to announce that Binance will be donating one million US dollars to South Africa to advance the ecosystem of blockchain and cryptocurrencies in our country. <laughs> this will be run through Binance Charity and we're looking for anyone interested. I think you're all going to inundate me with uh, ideas and projects, but, but it's really something that we want to drive and spend over the next year um, and, and really grow the community from that perspective. And it will be, as I say, dedicated to charity, education, and advancing the space in the country and hopefully leading to some sort of job creation and the adoption of crypto for very many people. So this is a very, very exciting thing. We've got a number of projects already in the pipeline that we're looking at, um, and we, we are open to suggestions for any others. All right, so that's great. The other thing is we've got Binance Chain. So this is a, a blockchain that's been built. Um, it, that, um, it's a community-based project. Uh, it's, it has a one-second block time with instant finality and over 1,000 transactions per second. Um, it's, um, and at the moment, our decentralized exchange is actually being built on this blockchain right now. The next one is blockchain, uh, the Binance Academy. I nearly said Blockchain Academy. That's Sonia's thing. Binance Academy. 
This division is purely focused on the education in blockchain, in blockchain and the cryptocurrency space. Um, it's open for anybody to use. There's no charges. And anybody who is wanting to increase their knowledge about what is going on in this ecosystem, I really encourage them to look at what we're doing from a, from a uh, Binance uh, Academy perspective to see any education material that's available. It really is good. Um, I've been through some of it, and I, and I highly, highly recommend it to, to anyone. The other one is blockchain labs. So our labs area is there specifically to, to look and to assist entrepreneurs who are interested in cryptocurrencies or working on some sort of cryptocurrency projects in the space. We incubate those, those projects and the entrepreneurs who are involved. Um, and we take them through a process where eventually perhaps they can go into an ICO listing or something like that if they wanted to and become a, you know, a, a mainstream coin on the exchange one day. So um, this, this ranges, it could be any uh, infrastructure projects, it could be any crypto projects. There's a number of arms that, that Binance Labs looks at um, and it's specifically to try and support entrepreneurs uh, in the crypto space. Uh, Launchpad is, is also an exclusive token platform for anybody wanting to, to um, launch a, co a coin. We're really trying to look for the most transformative crypto projects in this space. Um, and, and again, it's really for entrepreneurs who have a vision of something, doing something revolutionary um, in the crypto space that they want to bring forward. And then finally, um, Binance Research. So Binance Research is really there to provide transparency and data around what is happening in the crypto space. Uh, we try and run this independently to, to show um, in, a, in, a, in a pure data-driven manner to show what's happening in the industry. Um, and it's a really a great place for any analysis for investors wanting to get more information around what is going on in the cryptocurrency space. And then finally, Binance Cloud. This was recently launched about a month ago by Binance. Um, it's an all-in-one solution for anybody uh, building and launching exchanges. And the intention here is to partner with country partners to launch Binance Cloud uh, in various jurisdictions around the world. We also have a trust wallet. So this is an officially decentralized uh, wallet app for, for the storage of crypto. Um, it's um, a mobile wallet that anybody can use. And it's, um, you're able to easily send and store any crypto that, that, are, um, that you have. Um, and it's built into our browser that people can use. All right, and then BNB is the native token on Binance. Um, it's uh, used in, uh, for various utility and uh, power aspects, and it's really there to drive as the underlying gas that's driving the ecosystem of what we do. We actually use the, the BNB token. If you're trading and you use it um, while you're trading, you actually get a discount on your trading fees. Um, and uh, so far, it's got a market cap today of 2.5 uh, billion uh, dollars, making it the ninth largest currency, uh, cryptocurrency in the world at the moment. Uh, to provide some examples of some of the, um, the uses of BNB and where we're incubating some of these ideas, you can see that there's various examples up here. We've got um, various payments application, um, some ideas around the entertainment space, services, um, exchanges, and the Binance chain is currently hosting a number of different coins on that chain that, we, um, that we're busy incubating at the moment. All right, so let me move on to what are our plans for South Africa, because I think that's what everybody wants to hear about. Okay, so I think the, the thing is we are launching a Fiat Gateway into South Africa. It will be available to all South Africans through Binance.com, so it won't be a specific domain via .co.za, so it will be via Binance.com. And what this enables is by doing that, literally every South African has access to the entire Binance ecosystem that I've just taken you through. So it allows you access to the margin trading, futures trading, some of the, the things for some of the more experienced traders. And then it also gives access to any of those other ecosystems that we looked at from Binance Labs uh, to Launchpad to Charity, et cetera. So we're really trying to get the entire thing off the ground here in South Africa. Um, it will be a fiat gateway into all Binance coins. Um, there, there's, uh, you'll see that there are some trading pairs, but essentially you're having access to over 150 coins that we currently offer at the moment. Um, we're looking at lower transaction fees. Um, there's obviously, there's a huge amount of liquidity going through the exchange, so any traders will have access to that sort of liquidity going through Binance.com, um, and you'll be able to pay in the native BNB currency 
um, when you are trading on our platform, which I think is a huge, a huge benefit. Um, at first launch, we'll be going live with five trading pairs. I've listed up them up there, so that obviously the BTC, uh, BTC ZAR will be one of the big ones for us. Um, and then we're looking at BNB, Ether, uh, USDT, and, T, and um, BUSD. Too many acronyms in this industry. So we're starting off with five trading pairs, um, and we're looking to, you know, obviously get feedback from the community about any other trading pairs that they think would be valuable for us to add in the longer term. And then really the intention is to build out the entire ecosystem in South Africa. I think our approach is very much around growing the next level of crypto adoption um, and, and moving South Africa beyond. We, ha we had a sort of a big uptake during the 2017 uh, boom. And I think it's time now that perhaps as a country we, we have our next drive. And Binance is here really to support the industry as a whole, to support the cryptocurrency space, support the development of blockchain in this industry, and see how we can really grow the South African community as much as possible. So those are our plans going forward. Okay. Right. So, because you all took a very long lunch, we are running extremely late. Um, so, I think we're going to move on to our next speaker. Um, I am obviously here for the two days, so if anybody does have any questions, I'm more than open to taking any questions around what our plans are. Um, if you want to reach out to me, please, please do. Um, I'm available on Twitter and uh, LinkedIn and, and uh, Telegram, so please reach out to me if you do want to have a chat about anything and want to get involved with Binance in any way. We'd really, really love to hear, hear your views and support you in the work that you're doing. Okay. Thank you.